Hi Capricorn, welcome to your October Twin Flame Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, let's see what's going on in your connection. We're looking at all the energy, see if we can get, you know, timelines, advice, guidance, maybe future energies, what's going on, what you need to know for Capricorn. Again, if this doesn't resonate, it's not your reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn, male or female, a general collective reading. Please only take how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you need to. Cross watchers as well. Could be a reading for you. And Capricorn, everything you need to know is down below. Playlist are down there. And my other channel, if you'd like to check that out, and your playlist for that channel. So welcome in Capricorn. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see what's going on in your connection, shall we? Let's see. We have four. This is the four of wands. Now that is just crazy. Joy and stability. One, strengthening bonds. Ace of Pentacles energy. Solid new beginning for the long term. Then we have the nine of cups. Dreams coming true. This is just incredible, Capricorn. Wishes, dreams coming true. Happiness, joy, fulfillment. Let's see, we have 10, 14, which is 5, which is change, if you add all these numbers together. 9, almost endings and new beginnings. 1 is the new beginning, 4 is the stability, foundation. So we have twin flame, new beginning for the long term, investing in this, and the wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. That is just crazy. 9 of cups, ace of pentacles, 4 of wands. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. You're the first person to get that four of wands in this deck. Well, now <laughs> I don't even feel like I have to pull the tarot. Well, let's see what's going on. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, Capricorn. Please do check out my other channel. I do more generalized kind of readings and I do a lot of different things over there. And I'll tell you more. Um, towards the end, like what kind of readings I do over there if you're not familiar with my other channels. So let's see, Capricorn, what is going on in your connection? The star, again, wish dreams coming true. These have wanted to pop out at me. Page of Swords, communication could be coming here. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Hmm, single energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. I'm almost feeling like here, maybe maybe the feminine's been kind of spying on the masculine, wondering, is he single yet? Maybe he's been going through a divorce or ending a soul contract. Because that page of swords, that sword, you can use that sword to cut away things no longer serving. So I kind of feel like the error can be spying on social media, blah, blah. I feel like the feminine you know, looking at the masculine, or maybe on social media, are they single? Is their status single yet? Is their divorce completed? Did they end that relationship? Kind of wishing and hoping for that, for the masculine to be single. Just pointing her wand right at the Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. So this has been a long time, a long process, I feel. But there's been a lot of potential, maybe investments here. Maybe you did work together. It doesn't have to be, though. Five of Wands. So there could have been a lot of conflict, maybe in the masculine's life inner conflict either way seven of cups a lot of illusionment you know confusion but there's a lot of possibility as well ten of cups total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way so if the feminine has been kind of in that mode of what's going on with the masculine checking out social media you know is he single is he is he divorced yet is he, is he ended that relationship is his status single wishing and hoping for that remaining hopeful and optimistic Maybe hoping for communication as well. Hey, I'm single now. So I think the feminine is seeing a lot of potential here for that to happen as well. So I do see here uh, Aquarius twice, Aries. All right, so let's see. You know, the star is divinely guided energy, things meant to be, faith, hope, optimism, which is dreams coming true, healing. Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate go-getter. Somebody could be a leader, entrepreneur, business owner, in some kind of way. Or very attractive, 
I see a feminine kind, you know, always dressed to the nines, hair, makeup, out, you know, just very, um, always presented very, very well. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. All right, so what else do we need to know about this for you, Capricorn? Four of Cups, so there's been a lot of waiting, wondering what's going on here. Six of Swords, somebody could be at a distance, it could be about traveling. That is about moving into calm, peaceful waters and leaving BS behind. So I feel like the feminine's been hoping for communication that the masculine has left something behind. Two of Swords, about making that decision. Death, so there's transformation in the ending. So definitely I'm getting here, um, let's see one more hermit so hermit nine nines are always single energy to me so i'm kind of feeling like here endings with the death here new beginnings a single energy with the hermit and solitude so she's waiting wondering did he you know move away from this make the decision to end and become single in solitude <laughs> it's kind of why i keep getting that same energy and I do see here the four of wands, the ace of wands, pentacles does say strengthening bonds. And then the dream coming true here with the nine of cups energy. So the masculine could be contemplating, you know, maybe he has put an end to something here. And now he's contemplating coming forward to the feminine. Definitely here. Maybe he's just going through some, you know, healing inner journey work first and, you know, transforming his life. Definitely feels like there's a crossroads here. The feminine could be worried about his crossroads and what path he's going to take, but still hoping for the best. I don't think she's pushing or like chasing so much. Could be some spying. I do feel that. I think she's kind of letting him letting him figure it out on his own. But we do have the backup energy here of the temperance angel trying to bring soulmates together, past lives, divine alchemy, peace, harmony, joy, balance. Things meant to be. Patience. And there's the Ace of Pentacles showing up again. That's twice. Solid new beginning. So the... And there's the Moon, the Illusion. I'm not quite sure if the Masculine is going to choose the path of the Feminine, of being in union together here. But here's a Magician manifesting a new beginning. So, I mean, this could be fear, illusion. It's feminine energy. So the Feminine could be fearing a little bit that the Masculine may not manifest in her direction is kind of what I feel, but that's just illusion because the temperance angel here is backing up this ace of pentacles energy for the two of them. Wow. So, so we see uh, Virgo, Scorpio, let's see, Sag, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces. All right. Could be signs and chart. So the tower, some massive change, awakening, epiphany, aha moment. Shock, surprise, it's not always bad. Though this card does say destruction. Aries energy. So what is coming in with the tower? What is coming in with the tower? Nine of Wands. Almost at the end of the journey here. Seven of Wands. Seven of Cups. High Priestess. Definitely could be a time of no contact, no communication, but again, it's that spiritual connection, understanding, intuition, higher knowing, infinity, again, past lives. So the fem the masculine is thinking about the feminine, very, sees her as very intuitive, spiritual, high vibration, and feels that connection. Seven of Cups, you know, again, illusion, wondering what's going to happen here, Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Those are both like defensive energy but it's about perseverance and not giving up feeling like worn out by this whole journey but it's also about not giving up like i said so there is there are changes happening here that is for sure with the tower energy here what do we have on the bottom of the deck the king of cups so i feel like the masculine is coming in tune and in touch with his feelings understanding how he's feeling why he's feeling it the whole nine yards here with the king of cups and slowly going to come forward with that ace of pentacles it's just taking a little time here so we do have taurus energy here or that could be you capricorn 
We have Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see it as Taurus, but it could be you. And then here comes that offer. And then the King of Pentacles, too, with the offer. Wow. So that's a pentacle, pentacle, pen that's three pentacles, growth, expansion. And with the five, there's been, you know, some separation, a lot of pentacle energy here. Um, feeling abandoned, you know, separated. But if you add that together, that's the eight of pentacles, which is about putting in the work. Oh, so we have Pisces, Aries, Pisces again. All right, so we had, did see the king, which is Virgo, but it could be you. All right, so let's see what else we need to know here for Capricorn. Chariot, positive movement forward. So if they did move away or travel, it could be coming back here. Because I see that Six of Swords is like moving away, but then there's a coming back with the chariot. That is positive movement forward. Success, victory, balance. Oops, so we have the, well, there's the four wands. I was wondering if any of these cards were going to repeat. So, well, we did see the Ace of Pentacles um, at the bottom of the deck. We haven't seen the Nine of Cups come back out yet, but we'll see. Four of Wands, there you go. So, positive movement forward here with this, with this Twin Flame connection. Page of Pentacles, again, solid offer for either, you know, can we talk, can we go out for a drink, a date, maybe it's commitment marriage, moving in. Let's be a couple. Let's do this. Let's see where it goes. And Earth energy there. That is Capricorn energy. Three of Pentacles showing up again. Growth, expansion. And now we have the Queen of Cups, which we just did see the King. Two people that definitely uh, have love for each other. Intuition, higher knowing. Caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. So we do see uh, Cancer, Capricorn, Cancer again. Three of Wands. So there's been a lot of waiting here, but clarity is about to come in here. And then we have the High Priest. Five, which is about change. Ace of Swords. Again, it's like awakening, epiphany, aha moment. Divine clarity from Source. Honest communication. Successful new beginning. Cutting away what's no longer soaring. High vibrational energy here with the High Priest. High vibrations in all ways, you know, growth, expansion, learning. Uh, morals, traditions, values, spirituality, faith, religion, whatever here. Marriage, commitment. So that's Taurus energy. And then we have the Emperor. Definitely is raising his vibration. Aries energy with the Emperor. And justice, soul contract. So he's definitely coming into alignment with the soul contract. He's realizing it now with justice, Emperor, and the High Priest. Wow. Major, major leveling up for him. We have Libra there with justice, soul contracts, truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order, Libra energy. So let's see, we have, this is Capricorn, Cancer. See, I'm kind of looking, uh, see, we have seven, four, seven and three. Ten. I mean, it could be October. I'm feeling maybe October to Capricorn season some sort of forward movement is going to be taking place here about love, stability, maybe even talking about the Twin Flames. I mean, we have it twice here about Twin Flame connections and what it means, how to grow and expand with the love. Wow. All right. So what you've been wishing and hoping for, Capricorn, I feel like is uh, going to come through here. All right. So let's see. Let's get advice and guidance for you. I mean, we have growth and expansion here. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Stress, fear, worry, anxiety. Ace of Cups about the brain. We're beginning in love with your masculine. Three of Swords. Heartache and pain. Hmm. Two of Cups. Soulmate union again. So, you know, there could have been a lot of disappointment in the past with this connection, with it not working out, you know, or them not leaving the connection or something they were in before but now they are. So there's a lot of heartache and pain surrounding that, stress and anxiety. Four of Swords, healing. Energy here. So I do see, you know, take time for you, take care of you, healing, recovery. I mean, we do have the partnership, Two of Cups right here with the new beginning in love. So don't dwell on any past heartache, pains, or disappointments. You know, maybe you need some healing, more heart healing, 
from that energy and don't get too stressed out about this either because in the ace and the two is the three of cups reunion celebrating dating getting to whatever it is for you and if you subtract the ace from the two it gets you back to the ace of cups as well so again the world could be you know coming back together here traveling or distance or maybe coming back new cycle about to begin leo taurus aquarius scorpio wheel of fortune with the world fate destiny positive movement forward things definitely progressing i feel like into 2023 that is for sure so i see the world and the wheel as like starting off new energy possibly like going into the new year as well things meant to be moving in the right direction sag leo aquarius taurus scorpio again and the eight of wands travel action communication things moving forward three of wands been waiting for this and the ace of swords again divine clarity from source like we talked about about your um emperor here at the high priest level and then we have the page of cups could be you know apology romantic gestures um as well pisces energy communication ten of cups happiness joy fulfillment wow so i definitely feel like here capricorn you've been wishing and hoping this whole time <laughs> and i definitely see that it's finally probably going to happen here all right so let's get you some messages here for capricorn what else do you need to know for capricorn do we need to know for Capricorn? And again, on my other channel, uh, Capricorn, I do uh, pick a card. I do all signs and timestamps, all kind of topics. I do each, uh, individual readings for each sign. You have one over there now, what you need to know right now. I'll be doing money and career. I have uh, angel message for every sign timestamped. I also have um, general collective readings and at, sometimes at the end of those I throw in extra message for each sign or a little extra pick a card. So a lot of different things over there. So please go check it out. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. So I mean, we did have a lot of pentacle energy here. So that could be a factor. Apology. We did see the page of cups. You can expect the apology you want to hear. So that may be... Uh, whatever happened here maybe that's what's coming in as well second chance there was this relationship deserves a second chance wow i definitely feel that awakening i definitely feel like the masculine awakening here both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations we have the star there in death transformation one more for capricorn acceptance everything happens for a reason so accepting there's no escaping this mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson definitely here patience and go slow i felt that too uh but um anyway yeah mastery here and i definitely feel like um what you've been wishing for capricorn is taking place so you have all this fantastic energy right here nine of cups ace of cups we did see the ten of cups the ace of pentacles a couple times you have the four of wands twice wow Wow, Capricorn. All right. So that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there as well as the link for my other channel in your playlist for that channel. Please check it out. It'd be greatly appreciated. So wishing you the best, Capricorn, and I shall see you next time.